I'm sure it's no secret that I don't have a whole lot of faith in the American college system. And I've had this position for a long time, long before the political nonsense that you've been hearing about on college campuses lately. I remember being 16 years old, arguing with the school counselor about why I thought college was a scam, because most people would go 10 or more thousand dollars into debt just to get a piece of paper that says they know something, and half of the time, that degree doesn't even get them a job that they like, or it's not even relevant to the degree that they got, but they're forced to work that job because college debt doesn't go away. Even if you die, the debt gets passed on to your children and your children's children like it's some sort of Old Testament punishment until it's paid off. But luckily, there are alternative paths available to you, and those are paths paved with certifications. Now, this is going to be more focused on IT certs because that's what I have, that's what I know the most about, but there are certifications for other career paths as well, like you can become a certified electrician without going to college, a certified plumber without college, there's HVAC certifications, and all of these jobs actually have pretty decent pay. Uh, so now with information technology, there isn't just one general IT cert that would be equal to like an IT degree. Uh, when you go down the cert path, the broader subject of IT gets broken up into its subcomponents with a certification to go along with all of those subcomponents or usually multiple certifications to go with them. And this is one of the reasons why I actually think the cert path is better because IT is just a really broad field. Like if someone tells you they work in IT, that doesn't really give you that much information. Because uh, when you go to get a career in IT, especially if you want to make a lot of money, you're going to want to end up in a specialized position. So you might become a sysadmin, you might become a network architect or a cloud engineer. Uh, maybe you'll become a penetration tester. You get the picture. Uh, you really don't have to waste a whole lot of time and money learning things that you're not going to use in your life. You can just get those specific certs. Uh, so let's say, for example, you wanted to become a penetration tester. That's probably uh, one of the cooler, like sexier specialized fields of IT. So the certs you'd want to get would be a security plus. Um, if you can pass this easily, then I would say that there's not even any reason to bother uh, with an A plus or with a network plus. Uh, usually these are considered even easier certifications and even the IT fundamentals. Honestly, I would say skip IT fundamentals altogether. Don't bother with that. Uh, even if you're gonna try to do like help desk or something really entry level, at least go for the A plus. Now the security plus is really more of a blue team cert. Uh, because it's really teaching you like security best practices. Uh, it doesn't actually really teach you hacking. So if you wanted to get started on your pen testing career, you could go ahead and get the CompTIA Pen Test Plus. This is a newer certification that they started uh, offering up. Um, now this is pretty basic as far as pen testing certifications go. Like it's really an introduction cert. Uh, so you should definitely try to go further with your education than that because, you know, it's pretty basic. But once you have a pen test plus, you could start looking for work and actually get interviews and possibly even offers of employment. And sometimes those employers will actually credit you for getting new certifications. Like they might say that you can spend up to $5,000 or so on them every year and they'll reimburse you. Um, and that's more than enough as far as certifications go because these really aren't that expensive. Uh, like, let's see if we can look at pricing just for Security Plus, for example. Yeah, so you can see a voucher to take this is $370. And for the most part, uh, the certs are going to be in this range of price. Some can be a bit more expensive. But to go further with this pen testing example, uh, you would then want to get something like your OSCP, so that's going to be the Offensive Security Certified Professional Cert. This is a little bit harder. Uh, it's actually considered one of the harder certifications. You're given about 24 hours to hack 
a few different servers that are gonna have different OS's and software stacks on them. You also can't use any automated tools to do this, so no Metasploit, no SQL map to hack those boxes. Although I do think they let you use it just for one, but not for the other uh, like three or four that you have to do. Uh, this exam is also proctored, so you can't cheat. Uh, you're gonna be monitored on a webcam and all of your screens are gonna be monitored as well. And there's a second part to this exam where you can do a write-up of how you actually hack the boxes and you can earn a few extra points doing that as well. So this is a much more involved certification than anything that CompTIA offers. Um, but I guess it is a little bit more realistic and closer to the kind of hacking that you would be doing uh, compared to a pen test plus. So the pricing on this one, uh, it is a little bit more like it looks like this is the most basic package uh, they offer. So 30 days in the lab um, plus the OSCP uh, exam, so that would be $1,000. Uh, but again, we're still way cheaper than anything like college tuition. And if you get this, you should be really good to land job interviews. So like if we take a look uh, on Indeed for OSCP, there's almost 2,000 jobs for basically penetration testing that are available if you've got the OSCP, at least as far as being able to get an interview, because uh, of course this is just what they're posting as the offer. Um, because even though this is the most popular cert in the industry, it's by no means the best in terms of the material that's covered or um, it being cutting edge. There's some other certs that you might wanna look into, uh, like the ones that are offered by eLearn Security. So their ECPPT uh, certification, it covers way more topics than the OSCP, although it isn't considered as hard as the OSCP, but this is actually going to challenge you on a broader range of skills that you might need to actually get a job. Um, because even though this is a more obscure cert, uh, like if we were to look it up on Indeed, um, you know, we can see how many jobs are listed with this as a requirement. So there's only 17, right? It's like a hundred times uh, more obscure. But you have to remember that these job postings are rarely made by somebody that actually knows how to do their job, like actually knows how to do pen testing. Um, most of the time, these are gonna be written up by a human resources person. So when you get an interview with someone that actually does know the job, you might be caught off guard if you only have an OSCP because they might start asking you about things that you, have, that you don't know anything about. Uh, now, another cert that you would want to look into getting uh, if you wanna be a pen tester would be the G-Pen. And it's usually recommended that you take this SANS six-day course, the uh, SEC 560, along with it. But the cost of this course, uh, let's see, I think this would be the right one, yeah. So like this is an online one week course. Uh, so you can see that the cost of it, um, there it is. So the cost of six day course along with uh, taking the certification, it's about $7,000. Um, so obviously this is really expensive. Like this is kind of getting into the realm of college tuition, but this usually isn't something that you would go off on your own and get. Typically the people that get this cert are being sent by their employer and their employer is covering all the costs. Uh, they probably buy like a volume of vouchers for these and get a discount. But the good thing about this course is that it's kept really up to date. And as you can probably guess, staying up to date with the latest in cybersecurity is gonna be really important in a pen testing role. Uh, but even if you do decide to get this expensive cert uh, along with those four other ones, you're only looking at about $10,000 in educational investment. Uh, that's many times less than going to college for IT or cybersecurity. Like that might honestly just be one semester of tuition for you. Uh, and you'll probably know even more than someone who ends up graduating from that degree with a bachelor's. Uh, so obviously, this is going to benefit the employee because it's going to be a much cheaper path uh, than trying to go to college. But what about the employer? What about the person who's hiring you for the job? 
Well, like I said, certified professionals have been more knowledgeable than people who only have degrees, at least in my experience. And this might be because certifications are much more consistent. So it really doesn't matter uh, if you were to get these certs in America or India or somewhere in Europe, the material that's gonna be covered is all the same. Uh, but obviously with colleges, they kind of have different programs. Like if you went to college, especially in different countries, if you graduated from a college uh, in Europe, it might be very, very different than, uh, I don't know, if you went to like University of Mississippi or something like that. Even within the same country, like in America, uh, some of my friends that uh, went to school in Georgia Tech or University of Mississippi, their courses for computer science are still really different than up here in Massachusetts. And these are, again, these are universities that are within the same country. So with certifications, you just have more consistency. You kind of know what you're getting uh, when you're looking at candidates to hire. Um, and you also have to keep these certifications up to date by attending webinars and conferences that are going to give you continued education credits. Otherwise, you're going to have to retake those certs after they expire, usually within four or five years or so. Uh, so that's also really great if I'm an employer because I know that this candidate's knowledge is recent. Whereas if I'm talking to someone who's maybe in their 40s or later who earned their degrees back when uh, like freaking and war dialing and pings of death were the hacking meta. If they haven't worked in the industry for years and years, how do I know that their knowledge is up to date? Like I see their credentials, but if somebody graduated from college, you have no idea if they continued studying afterwards. Uh, so there you go. That's my reasoning for certs being better than degrees, at least for IT and we also covered a certification path for pen testers, so that's two videos in one. Who else brings you that type of content?